Hey everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. We have a load of cottage cheese and not just one load of cottage cheese, loads of cottage cheese. Two of them, a tandem trailer with Sodial Union right beside the cows here, which if you listen carefully, you can hear. Maybe not. Come on, cows. Let's go, guys. Come on. Oh, now they're quiet. Anyway, we're going to try. I think I figured it out finally while well, making another attempt. If you recall, I've tried to do double tandem parking in this save a couple of times, but the command didn't work. New attempt today to try to get this command work. And when I saw the double tandem, when I saw the tandem trailer here, I thought, what better time to give this a try than today in the rain? Now, we've only got a two hour and 50 minute delivery. So we have kind of a plan that we're going to call an audible on as we get going forward here. This is a really kind of countryside farm for sure. We're going to call an audible. We're going to go to Guarda. I'm not sure if you pronounce it that way. Is it Guarda? Maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe someone can help me again. Because I learned that I've been saying Gihon, Gihon incorrectly. It's not Gion as I've been saying. It's Gihon. So here we go. Thank you for those that have helped with my pronunciation. We're going to make this right hand turn. See if we can get this tandem trailer out without wiping out the fence. Oh, we did it. Nice. Okay, so anyway, to, to talk to our point here, we have a two hour and 48 minute drive to Huayda. I'll try it that way. Can you correct me, please, if it's wrong? And when we get there, we're going to see if we've actually enabled the tandem parking. The way I did it this time was I activated the console in the game. And that means that I should turn my lights on too, shouldn't I? There we go. Yeah, lights are on. Okay, I activated the console in the game, and then I opened the console and entered in the command in the console that enables the tandem, the difficult, the doubles parking kind of thing. So we'll see if that worked when we get there. I'm, I'm somewhat confident that it's finally worked in this game, because I've tried it a number of times with uh, changing the configuration files. For whatever reason, that hasn't worked, but this should have worked. So pretty exciting moment if we could back up a double. Now, if that goes relatively quickly or it's just not enabled and I hasn't worked yet, then I think what we're going to do is a second, well, we're going really fast, second journey here to try something else uh, to get us yet another city in Iberia. And this one will actually give us our 17th of 51 cities in Iberia, which will get us one third of the way to the Conquistador achievement. So slowly but surely making progress. Anyway, we'll get a little bit further down the road here and then we'll chat a little bit. I have an idea for the 100th episode. I'd also like to ask people's ideas too, but this is episode number 96. So we'll chat about that. And I'd like to chat. We're also getting closer to our grand experiment. We're up over 600,000 euros now. So we only need 1 million more to go. Almost halfway there to that. But we'll, we'll see in a little bit as we get further down the road. We have proven something wrong today. So we were in the hills before and it was raining. And now you'll notice that we're in the, the plain and it's not raining. And my understanding was that the rain in Spain falls mainly in the plain, but that is not true. We're halfway, we're over halfway there. We're about two thirds of the way there. We've got about an hour left to go. Surprisingly, we actually haven't hit anything despite the fact that we actually had a lot of rotaries. <laughs> Why are they going so slow on a 90 kilometer highway? I feel like the drivers have gotten worse. Has anybody else noticed that? I, I'm, I've been watching them in the, the, um, the rotaries and stuff like that, the roundabouts, whatever you prefer to call them. And they, they seem to be struggling. I, I don't quite know. I, they, they've, I mean, okay, big statement, like backup statement, right? Drivers in the real world do stupid things too. They're bad, right? We all know that. The drivers in the game, considering how much traffic there is and considering what they've got to do, toll of six, oh, cool. Considering what they've got to do, I think the AI drivers are actually pretty good on the whole. I mean, they drive, they make logical move, mostly make logical moves and stuff like that. For most of the time I've played though, there's this kind of percentage, like 10% of the time, they're gonna do something unexpected or they might cut you off, but it's in kind of predictable places, right? It's like rotaries, it's like merging after toll boots. It's maybe they're not giving you the right of way when you turn in or something like that. It's kind of in these predictable spots where the AI has struggled and you can anticipate it. I feel like lately though, in the past month or so, they seem to be struggling in a lot more spots. And I don't know if they're, if they're trying to tweak the AI routines and they haven't got quite, got quite, 
quite gotten it right or what, but has anybody else noticed that? Do they seem worse? Or maybe we're just all getting old and we feel like the drivers are worse. Like back in the days, the drivers weren't this bad. And now the drivers are just terrible. All these young kids and stuff. I don't know if that's the case or is it just they've actually gotten worse? Because I feel like a lot of times now cars will pass me and then immediately slow down or they're going like like this the one back there. Someone's going 30 kilometers an hour on the 90 kilometer per hour highway and roundabouts now they will when they want to get off they will just go from that inner lane they look like they're going to the inside lane to drive through and then as soon as their next exit comes up they cut over to the right side lane without really considering what might be behind them so maybe they're trying to fix the ai traffic and they really haven't quite sorted it out yet but in any case it seems to me that over the past month at least since perhaps the last update the ai drivers in the game have gotten a little bit worse i'd be curious to hear other people's thoughts on them but is it just me? Am I going crazy? But anyway, well, looks like we've got about 13 minutes left. And rather than chat about all the things I was thinking we would chat about, I went on a monologue about the drivers today, how crazy they all are. Anyway, we have got our tandem trailer here. We have yet to hit anything. I'm very curious to see if we've got the parking enabled successfully. We should get to Guarda here soon. If the park, the parking may very well be the rest of this episode, right? Because it could be an adventure. I'm going to try to park the tandem trailer because it looks like it's only articulated in one spot in the middle. Here's Guarda, Guarda, city number 17. All right. Approach with caution here. What's the rotary traffic going to do? Who knows? Ah, nice. It cleared for us pretty well here. Um, it very well might take us like 20 minutes here to park this thing. Right? It very well could be just an adventure in the unknown. But if we get it relatively quickly, or I give up relatively quickly, then I want to do another delivery or so, because otherwise it's like a 10 minute episode, which is a little bit short, excuse me, a little bit shorter than I like. We'll see you as we get close to the parking here. All right, here's the moment to the truth. Moment to truth, we've arrived at Furcam, is that what this place is called? And we have our tandem trailer. It looks like it's only got that single articulation right in the middle which means that I think we can grab a parking. Let's see if it's enabled here. I can do anything. <gasps> I can do anything. It is enabled, but it's only 60 XP. What's with that? It must be super easy then. I don't know. That doesn't look that easy, right? Well, we're going to give it a try. It's, are you kidding me? 60 XP with a tandem trailer for that? That's, that's at least 270 XP. I feel like I'm underpaid for this. I feel like just on principle, we should refuse this, right? 60 XP, look at that thing. 60 XP to park this thing in that? What? I want to hold out. I'm going on strike for more XP. Oh, ah, well, we'll give it a try here. It's the principle, I guess. It's the challenge, I guess, that counts, not the principle. We're doing this on principle. I feel like we should unionize this and get more XP for this. I'm kind of watching my mirror over there because I don't want to hit that. I think I just hit it. But I think, ah, uh, okay. We're not off to a, the most promising start here. I'm a little disappointed in the 60 XP thing because I, I want to kind of go around here. Let's try this way. And then back up. It's going to be a long haul to back this up though. Am I stuck already? What am I hitting? Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, hmm, got the cottage cheese stuck on the fence. All right, I have a plan. We're, we're, we're not quite giving up yet. Okay, so I'm going to back up. And then I'm going to go to the right. I think we can still fix this. Go this way. Hopefully there's nothing in the road. I think we're kind of totally messing this up a little bit. Yeah. Not the prettiest job here, but we're not done yet. Okay, we got this. Now we're going this way. Whoops, nope. <laughs> Can't even get the direction right. This way, we're going over there. Let's go. That should get us off the fence post, right? All right, and now we're gonna come over here. We're gonna point the trailers back at that parking spot and we're gonna attempt the double tandem, the tandem parking. Wow, this is long. When you look in the mirrors, that's really long. 60 XP for this? 
There should be 90 just for a single trailer, right? Oh, goodness. So how do, how do we... So I have to get the... I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. I have to get it to go that way. That way. And then that way. All right. Well, not necessarily feeling my mojo here with this, but we'll give it a shot. I don't want to go that way. I want to go the other way. Because this trailer, the first trailer is doing the right thing. The second trailer is not doing what I want it to do. Okay, I have an idea. All right, so now my thinking is now it's going to go the right way. <laughs> yeah. Didn't quite go the right way for us here. That's not half horrible, actually, now. I think if I go a little bit farther back, then pull forward on the other way, maybe I can curl it in. So yeah, it was looking good there for a little bit, and then all of a sudden it went out of control again here. So I think we're gonna see if we can kind of cancel this one. I hit enter, I'm not close enough. I gotta get close enough to the parking thing now to cancel it, but we tried. So I pulled forward again and look what happened. Could this be curled right to go in there now? Could we get it? One more try. We're just going to try one more time. I feel like that's actually progress. And now if I could pull forward, I could push it all the way back in. Oh, now I screwed it up again. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm so close on the back. But, oh, yeah. All right. I think what I'm going to do is, I think I, this is a little bit above me right now. And I've been at it for like 25 minutes, even though it's a few minutes in game time. So we're going to call it a day here. But we're going to call it progress for a couple of reasons. One, I got it enabled in the game. So the console command work. I might do a little tutorial on that, too. Because uh, that was definitely the easiest way to do it. And I feel like if that guardrail there, this is that, like if we look at that, right, just honestly, that's a really hard backup with a tandem trailer, right? It's not just backing it up. You've got the jamming thing in front of it, and they're only paying us 60 XP. So, excuse me, let's call it a day. And I'm going to hurry now, and we're we'll skip it, and we're going to do another delivery, and we'll have fun that way. But definitely progress, I think. So we'll take it. Let's see how we did here. 9,000, almost 10,000 euros. Good, making our way towards level 32. I'm gonna find us another job and then we'll be back for more driving fun. Alrighty, we picked up this excavator, Volvo excavator, right from where we started. We're gonna take it about seven, six hours maybe? Eight hours, it's much longer. I couldn't find anything really short, but it is going to take us through a couple towns. I wanna to make a little detour there. So we pick up Valladolid. And then we're going to swing through here to see if we can pick up Burgos. And then we'll get all the way to Bilbao, which we have been to before. So um, considerably farther than I had hoped, but it will pick us up two cities. And we were already right here. So that's OK. So let's get busy. We'll see you as we get out on the road. Hoping this episode doesn't become super long, but it will get us some more money. Probably maybe even with our other drivers picking up road trips, we might be close to 700,000, maybe even 800,000 if we get lucky. That would get us about halfway to our experiment test here. It's not my best turn. All right, so we'll see as we get out on the highway here. It's a couple hours into our drive. It's been straight highway driving for the whole couple hours. We've been following this truck right in front of us now for the past two hours. For about an hour and a half, we were exactly side by side. Um, and we are low on gas, but there's a gas station up ahead that we should get to with about 50 kilometers of gas worth of distance left in our tank. So I think that's our plan for that. But so far, it's been an easy drive, just kind of chugging along here with the, the excavator in the back, making pretty good time. Line of trucks now as we head through the, the central part of Spain here. And we should pick up again two cities here. So just kind of making our way along, enjoying the cruise, and well, five and a half hours left now. All right, Valladolid, Valla, Valladolid, Valladolid, <laughs> we're here. Valladolid, we have arrived in our 18th city in Iberia. Making progress. Whew. 
It's a heavy load. <laughs> Just almost couldn't stop there. But no problems. So uh, right up ahead, I think, is the place where we're going to try to sleep, get some gas, and then we should be good going forward. But we definitely need gas and we definitely need a little bit of sleep here. I think we can sleep here. Yes. Excellent. All right. Nighty night. All righty. So we slept and we made 80,000 euros while we were asleep. Not a bad profit for being a little bit tired there. We're going to go get some gas now. Then we're back on the highway. Three o'clock in the morning now, Wednesday, game time. So we got a little bit more of... Um, got a little bit more driving through. Still got about four and a half hours to go here. And then... Got to get some gas and then we'll be on our way. So we'll see when we get back out on the highway. Good times here in Spain though. So we might very well end up halfway to our 1.6 million euro goal. To buy five trucks. Again, to buy five trucks and get a new garage for our AI driver experiment. So making good progress. It's going faster now that we've got a lot of drivers and stuff. Expensive gas, 1,500 euros for a tank of gas. My goodness, I'm glad it doesn't cost as much to fill up my car here. The gas is pretty expensive right now, but not 1,500 euros worth of expensive. That's, uh, that's pretty steep. Three and a half hours to go. We should be getting sunrise in maybe an hour or so. But one of the things I wanted to mention, I was thinking again about that uh, episode number 100. And so what I thought might be a good idea, I'm curious to hear people have other ideas for it. What I thought might be a good idea is to go down to the southwest corner of Portugal. So the southwest corner of Iberia and try to find the longest drive we can possibly find. So either up to kind of like St. Petersburg or all the way over to Istanbul. Those two would have to be some of the farthest drives in the game and make that episode the super long. I mean, it wouldn't necessarily be a super long episode, but it would be a super long drive. The longest drive I've ever attempted in the game. But let me know if you have other ideas for what might be a fun 100th episode too. Hard to believe that only four ways. So this is 96, 97, 98, 99. So yeah, we still got some time to figure it out, but I'm curious if people have some other interesting ideas for it too. One of the thoughts I, I had too was doing kind of a convoy episode for it, but I think those are going to be more for, I'm not sure the convoy ones would make for the best episode. I think they're fun to do, but I'm not sure they would be fun to watch as an episode. So I'm thinking that probably wouldn't do a convoy episode for number 100. Here we go. Took a little detour to visit Burgos. Now that gives us 19 out of 51. Wow, we still have a lot of distance to cover to, to get this achievement for sure. But chipping away. Sunrise on Wednesday morning. We've got about two hours left to get to Bilbao and we are making good time. It's a fun episode. We're picking up money. We don't seem to pick up money when we drive. As soon as we fall asleep, all our drivers get busy and we rack up a lot of money. But we're at 737,000 euros right now. I think next episode, let's get the base. And that's a question. Where would be a good base in Europe? Whoa! <laughs> How did we not hit anything? Wow! <laughs> Whoa! It's a Japanese word for that, kiki pots, which means uh, close call. <laughs> I thought for sure I was going to ram the truck in front of us, and then I figured, okay, I'm going to hit the stuff on the breakdown lane, and then we just missed that and was able to cut back into the truck. Wow, that was that was cray cray, but bullet dodged. Go go us. Anyway, I forget now what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, we got to pick that. I think we'll pick in the episode. Next episode, we'll pick the garage for our experiment base. Maybe Munich would be a good one or something like that. Or Paris, maybe. Maybe Paris, France. Madrid might be good, huh? Let me know what you think. I'm, look, I'm thinking a big city might be good for it so that the drivers always have jobs to get. So that's kind of the, a rough plan there. But um, And we have one... We do have one in St. Petersburg already. We have one in Milan. And then uh, Toulouse is our other base. And then one in England in Plymouth. So I'm thinking maybe maybe Munich, 
Paris, Madrid, one of the capitals. That might be a good place for it. Stockholm, maybe? That might be good. Except you can only go south from Stockholm. So maybe Munich or Paris is best because you can go in all directions. So that will lead to much more work. I'm not sure if that matters for the AI drivers or not, but it might be worth it. If you've got any thoughts as to a good place, let me know. We are moments away from our destination here. We've got a red light, got to turn left, then we pull in and we'll see what kind of parking we get. All righty, we are at XPO and time to park. I wonder what we'll get for our parking challenge here. Zip right in here. No gates or anything down here in Bilbao. Let's see how it looks. Oh, we're going to hit that post. Maybe not. 90, where do you need it? Right there. We got this. All right, I'm going to do a U-turn and then back it in from this side here. Hopefully we don't hit that post. Hopefully we can make a U-turn. Let's line this up and see how we do. Feels like a sharp angle, doesn't it? Here we go. All right, so one of the things that people gave me a hard time about before was that I said the wheels on the trailer turned. And what I meant, of course, was that the wheels on the trailer are steerable. And that's this one's got that too. And I feel like with these types of trailers, you can cut them sharper. Although we're going to definitely hit that trailer now, aren't we? We totally missed this. Okay, still, let's stay positive. Oh, yeah. Not my parking day. Not my parking day here. We're, oh, we're third time back and cut it too sharp again. Lost my touch. I feel I do feel like I was better at parking a while ago. All righty, we are finally in here. They are rather generous to us here. Ah, I need more practice at parking, but we'll take the twenty-four thousand. I think that puts us seven over seven hundred fifty thousand, seven hundred sixty thousand euros. There we go, inching our way towards level 32. Wow, it's a long haul there, isn't it? Anyway, that brings us to the end today. Let me know what you think we should do for episode 100. You know, what you think about the recent traffic in Euro Truck Simulator and be curious as to any other thoughts that might be in your head too. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Your support's always greatly appreciated. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.